One of the major things in ecology, in all ecosystems everywhere in the world, is biogeochemical cycling. Bio being life, geo being earth, and then cycling circles, right? Biogeochemical cycling, all this stuff that goes into living things, out of living things, into the soil, into the atmosphere, into the living things, back again, blah, 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 blah. The nitrogen cycle, the water cycle, the phosphorus cycle, the sulfur cycle, it's all there. It's all happening all at once. And I know what you're thinking. Well, why would I care? Because you're going to mash them all up. This is your next assignment. You're going to do a cycles mashup, biogeochemical mashup. Now, I, I took about 15 minutes and did carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle, and starting the sulfur cycle. But anyway, it's all there. And if you put them all together, what you get is a lovely mess. There's arrows all over the place. You have to color code it. There's no other way to do it. It'll be totally confusing. So you have to organize it. That's hard. You have to color code it. It can be difficult for some of you. You have to get it all on the same page, which is going to be very difficult. You have to get all the cycles on the same page happening at the same time because that's reality. That's the truth of every real ecosystem is that this stuff is all happening all at the same time constantly and whether you're talking about invasive species or endemic species or not they're all still part of the carbon cycle and nitrogen cycle the phosphorus cycle and so on it's all connected and that why you have to learn all of it and it helps to see it all in one giant picture the complexity is frustrating it's you're going to get annoyed by this because it's a lot of arrows it's a lot of labeling it's a lot of things to think about particularly because in this case we're going to add both natural and anthropogenic sources anthropogenic means man-made so cars factories, farms, uh, nitrogen and phosphorus containing fertilizers. That's all going to be on here. And you're going to step back and you look at it and you go, that's insane. It's such a mess. It's so, it's so crazy. There's arrows all over the place. And that's the beauty that I want you to see is the complexity of the living world. Is it complicated? Sure. But that's part of what makes it special.